tongue is cooking still, and our chicken is still cooking. So I'm gonna bring that out and show you guys. But meanwhile, I'm gonna add the flavors, the layers. I'm going to saute my mushrooms. I don't know if I've ever, Señorada, por favor, le quito el pollo para check y mire bien o no bien. We're gonna, I don't know if I've ever done a tutorial with you guys with my um, mushrooms. Mushrooms are one of my favorite veggies, cured, and I'm really sensitive with cooking them and the proper way of cooking them. So your pan needs to be warm or hot. If it's not, don't panic. You add the mushrooms. I have these beautiful, look at, they're so firm. I could just pop them in my mouth. I slice the bigger ones in half, pop them in my pan. You want your pan to be big enough for your mushrooms. You can eat the, oh, the pollo, yeah. You want your mushroom, your pan to be big enough for the mushrooms. Not too big, not too small. And you don't want to keep mixing the mushrooms. That is the key to cooking your mushrooms properly. So add some avocado oil, not too much. Mushrooms are a sponge. You don't wash them either. You don't submerge them in water. Okay, the chicken looks great. I'm not going to take it out because it's so heavy. We're going to add the mushrooms to the pan and just let them sizzle. Add a little bit of salt to them. And here's what will happen. Your mushrooms will give off moisture. If you keep mixing it, you're going to have a lot of liquid in your pan. You're going to ex not expedite, but extend your cooking process. You've got to let it sit for the moisture to just um, evaporate. So what we're going to do is let this sit. And then we're going to turn off the lamb. You hear that whistling? In addition to the mushroom sizzling, you hear the lamb whistling. I'm going to turn that off, let it sit for a little, and then I'm gonna open the pressure cooker and show you guys what the lamb looks like. Now, because of live TV, right? Uh, because it's live, I won't be able to do it the way I usually do it, which is cook it through completely, peel it off, I'm pressured with time, the tongue I'm talking about. This is part two. Turn the temperature down and then give it a There, that's it. You don't wanna keep messing with this. Make sure you flip them. If they don't get flipped around that way, you just kind of, here we go. Flip them all so they get a sear on both sides and that'll lock in the moisture. You don't want dry mushrooms. There's nothing tasty about dry mushrooms. There we go. Off them just like that, just so you get color. And then these will go into our lamb tongue stew and become perfection. No joke, I've had some real major lamb connoisseurs taste my lamb stew, and tell me it is heavenly. There it goes. You want this to be dry, and then here's the lamb. I can't touch it, it's so darn hot. While that's cooking, I'm gonna quickly release the pressure. So I can take it out and show you guys. There it goes. Woo! That's all that pressure. 
pressure is out. I'm coming. I know you don't see me, but I'm really here. That's done. The mushrooms are done. I'll just flip these on their backs. Notice we have no liquid sitting at all in the bottom of this. This mushroom is going to go inside of our stew. Here we go. The baby open. And I'm going to show you guys. Gus and Coco, quiet please. Thank you. So this is hot. There's Instagram Live. Gus, it's hot, boiling, bubbly, right? There's the pressure cooker. You pop it open. And I want to show you guys the lamb kind of shrinks with all that steam, the heat. And then how you check it is really just stick your fork in there. It is done, done, done. There, you see? It is done perfectly. So the process would be, if I wasn't doing a live show, the process would be to let this cool off. I would take it off and peel this. There's a skin over the tongue. Okay, you don't, not that you don't want to eat it. It's, there's a skin. You don't want to eat it. It's not going to kill you, but it's hard. You peel the skin off, okay, and then you chop or slice the tongue in bite-sized pieces, just like that. And I'm gonna peel it off, peel it off, peel off the skin. There is a skin, protective skin. This is so darn delicious. Okay, it's so tender, it's so tender. Mm. oh my God. It's so delicious. I'm gonna add the mushrooms into this. Actually, before I add the mushrooms, I have dry kidney beans that I soaked, red kidney beans, dry. I'm gonna add one and a half cups to that. Now this stew already, I'm glad I tasted it, has enough salt. I'm not gonna add any salt to it. It's okay if it's salty at this point because it has the beans going in there and then it's gonna get heavy cream. It's gonna become a creamy stew. It's so delicious, I'm so excited. In 20 minutes, after it cooks for 20 minutes, I'm gonna pop it open, add the mushrooms to it. If I add the mushrooms to it now, they're just gonna be destroyed. So in 20 minutes, I'm gonna add the mushrooms and cook it another 20 minutes and Voila. So beans, 20 total cooking time for the beans with the tongue is 40 minutes. First 20 minutes, I'm gonna let the beans cook. Then I'm gonna add the map. I'm going to add the mushrooms, cook it another 20 minutes in the stew. No more salt. You have to taste it just so you know where you are. Andrew, I love you. You need to DM me. Um, Sorry, I'm live on Instagram. Then you add the mushrooms, and once the 20 minutes are past, the second set of 20 minutes with the mushrooms, you add a little bit of heavy cream, a little bit of coconut milk you can add, and serve it. Divine. I'll be back for part three. All right, guys, stay tuned for part three. Thank you for watching.